Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to learn about what is exception and how to handle them. Exception is an event which occurs during the execution of program which disrupts the normal flow of your program. This will create a lot of problem for the end user who is using your application because he cannot read or understand the error that he is getting while the execution of his application. So it is better to handle exceptions using exception handling. And one more thing that I would like to clarify is syntax errors are not exceptions. Now let me say when my x is assigned to 10 and then say if x equal to 10 and then say print, I am good. Now when I run this code, we will be getting a syntax error. Now these syntax errors are not exceptions and which cannot be handled with the help of exception handling. Now this error occurred because I missed a colon here. And when I put a colon here, my problem will be solved. When I execute this, I'll be getting the output. So syntax error, it is uh, in the hands of the developer. Whenever he is developing, he need to make sure that he's not making any syntax errors. Now let me run the same code by commenting this line x initialized to 10. Now when I remove this code and run this, you will be getting an error. That is a traceback error with a lot of information. Now you cannot expect the end user to understand what this traceback error is. To handle this error or exception, we'll be using exception handling. That is try, accept, else and finally. These are the blocks which helps me to handle the exception properly. Now what is this try block is? Now try block is the place where we put the suspicious code which may throw error and accept is the block where I'm going to handle the exception. And else is the place where if there is no exception at all, which when I don't find the exception in the try block, so that will go to the else block. And finally is the place where always get executed whether there is an exception or not. Now let me place this code which is throwing me an error inside the try block. And then since I know what is my error is, let me give a custom uh, output saying that variable not declared. Now uh, after using this try block and exit block, let me run this code. And you can see the error giving the information that is this information is passed that is variable not declared. It is not throwing me any traceback error anymore, right? Before it was throwing a traceback error because of using the try and exit block it is not throwing me a traceback error. It is printing the information, the custom message that I've given here in the except block. Now, if I want to give a proper information, what that error is exactly. Now, let I can use exception. Now, this is this exception is a common uh, exception which can handle any type of exception. Whatever exception is, it doesn't matter. Whatever exception is there, this uh, except exception will catch it. Let me say as e. And instead of giving this custom information, let me say print e and let me run this code. Now you'll be getting this information, a clear information that is name x not defined. All right? It is not giving me any error. It is just printing the information or printing the message what the exception occurred. So that information is passed here. Now let me give you one more example. Uh, let me comment this and let me try to open a file which is not there let me say f obj assign and then say open say new file now i am trying to open a file which is not there in read mode that is also an exception now let me run this code you can get an error information that is no such file or directory new file. So it means that it's saying there is no file or directory which I'm trying to open a file name called new file. Let me say txt here that will also print that. Okay. You can see here, right? So these kind of exceptions can be handled. Now if I say like I have more than one exception, right? I have more than one problem and if I want to give a proper information, right? So let me say x is defined here and, uh, and this I'm trying to use this. Let me try to put it up and run this code. Let me clear the screen for you. When I run this code, it says I'm good. And then 
whatever happens here, right? That's an exception. So that is uh, that went to the Excel block and that is printing the information which is given here. Now, if I want to give some specific error messages or specific information, like uh, exception is the one which ca handles everything, right? It doesn't mean like it's only for this and only for that. It handles for everything. Let me uh, let me comment this out and uh, let me take this out and then say some error occurred right and when i run this code it says some error occurred you don't know which error and where is the errors and if i want something specific right let me use this exception handling except and then say name error as let me say any as of now and then i'll say prints any right so if at all i want to handle exceptions more than one exception i can give like this and one more problem will occur i'll tell you what is that right now it says that name any when i do that it says that name x not defined but it never caught this right that, this is also a problem right this is also an exception but once when first exception ha happened it goes and catches this if I want specifically uh, exceptions for every problem that occurred, then I may need to go for one more try block. And here, if I want to give any exception, I'll say file not found error. I'll say as FE. Let it be FE. And here, let me say FE. Now let me run this code for you. You can see name x not found and no such file or directory so if i want to have more than one error handling more than once i want to test it i need to have a separate try except block for every error handling right i cannot put everything inside if i put everything inside whichever error occurs first only that error will be handled right the next er next line uh, which has an error which will, will not be caught hope you understood guys right i'll repeat again so if at all you want to handle errors separately, you need to make sure that you're giving the error messages or error information or the piece of code which throws you error in separate try and except block. Don't try to put it in the same block because if I put all the uh, code that, way, that may throw error inside the same try block, only the first exception which, hand, which uh, occurred will be caught. Other things will be just left out. Okay, now here you can see like both the errors are caught right now first it said name x not defined and then it says that no such file or directory but before when i have having both the lines in the same uh, try block it gave only one information okay so let me uh, try to give you uh, one more example so that we can understand let me say def division and say x comma y and here let me say x i'll say like uh, div assign x by y and then i'll say prints div right let me clear this code for you let me try to call this function before that i'll get two information two inputs input enter a and say input B let me call the function di division and then say a comma B now let me run this code for you and then let me say 10 and 0 now here again when I divide a number by 0 that is an error now you're getting a very big traceback error and which will be again difficult for the end user to understand now let me put this uh, inside the try block I know that this line is going to throw me error so let me say this a by b inside the try block and say accept exception as e and then say prints e and let me tell you what is this else block will do so this else block will help me in doing the work if there is no exception at all right 
So when my when I run this code and this ex, this try block didn't throw any exception at all, it will go to the else block and print this, right? So let me run this code again for you. Before do that, let me clear the screen. I'll say a that is ten zero. So you can you can get this information division by zero. Now that is my error, right? Division by zero is my error. Now I can see that I am trying to divide the value with zero now have i handled it fully no i'm giving just information that it is i'm trying to divide it by zero you cannot uh, educate all the end users saying that you need to do give only zero a layman cannot understand that he should not give zero so we need to give some information to the user saying that i should not uh, give a zero to divide any value right so if i want to do this process again and again let me put this inside a loop i'll say while true and let me put this here and when I say while true it is going to repeat my process again and again so once I don't have any problem in the exception that I didn't receive any exception and there is no problem at all in my program I have to break right and here let me say I'll print this information you're trying to divide by zero and then let me get y assign input enter a non-zero value to divide right I'm giving this information inside the loop let me run this code again so that you can understand what's happening right I'm saying 10 0 now it's saying division by 0 error there's a problem here so you need to enter a non-zero value if I try to do it again it's saying division by 0 that's not possible enter a non-zero value let me say 2 you're getting the output as five so after printing five in the else block i am breaking out of the loop because that is getting repeated right and one more thing is called this finally so this finally block will print always code exited right i'm saying code exited I'm exiting the code right so let me say 10 and 2 it's saying 5 whether I have the error or not it's saying code exited this finally block will always get executed irrespective of whether I'm getting an error whether I'm not getting an error right hope you understood this video guys if you have any doubts or queries please uh, comment uh, I'll definitely get back to you on that and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if at all you want to uh, you want me to give some more information or some other videos you want me to do please that comment that as well in the comment section i'll definitely do it for you thank you very much guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel